now then here we are me myself and i out for a bit of positive escapism surrounding myself in the happiness of nature and getting away from all the stress of the usual life somewhere over there so yeah it's just a local little camp for me just been out for a nice little walk sat about just in the sunshine and I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible tonight. We've got no wind, no rain. It is gonna be very chilly, I think, later on. We might get down to freezing. And I've got a couple of beers, which is potentially a bit of negative escapism, but we can cope with that. I've got a local pie to eat, and that's about it. What else do you need in life? It is just going to be one of those perfect nights for me. So anyway, I'm going to get the kit out and get myself comfortable and we'll bring you back, maybe with a pie in me gob. <laughs> I put my down jacket on, I got in my down sleeping bag and it felt like I was having a massive hug. So I've just laid here for the last 45 minutes just without a thought in my brain and this camp is already doing exactly what I want it to. Then, a thought did creep into my brain and that is hunger, so I'm gonna eat one of my pies. So I have got, I've got a pork and apple pie. I've got a sausage roll, which is a little bit crumpled up now. And I've also got a steak pie. So, to eat this, it's gonna be a bit risky, isn't it? I don't wanna drop it on my sleeping bag. So let's lay this jacket out because I'm not too fussed about this because that will wash and at least if I do spill it's going to go on there. So let's start with the pork and apple pie. It's good. I'm going to wash it down with the brew dog. The Punk IPA brewed in Ellen. <laughs> It sounds bacterial. I do like these though. Nice simple beer. Let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Good. Oh yeah. Mm. Cheers guys. Can't really beat this can you? Pie and a beer. On my own in a tent, no one hassling me. <laughs> that is living the dream, eh? I say I'm not fussed about my jacket, but that's not entirely true because it's one of my favorites. In fact, for bushcraft, it is my favorite jacket and I've used it for many years as an outer layer just to sort of protect everything under it from the forest. So it just allows me to use my ax and my knife, stand by a fire and roll around on the forest floor and just know that I am in good hands with this. And speaking of hands, the good thing about it is it's got like a double pocket at the front to actually drop my hands together with. And what I've done is I've made a little warming tube, if you can see that. And that's just made out of rabbit skin. It's my brilliant sewing there. And it really does keep my hands warm in it. So yeah, definitely worth making something similar for that jacket. But yeah, I was asked the other day, about what my favorite items were that I use for sort of camping and everything. And it's a bit of a tricky one to answer because obviously I've got a lot of bits of kit and there's certain things that I feel are essential and there's certain things that, you know, I think are perfect for certain scenarios. So it's almost like you need a bit of a diverse kit to actually allow you to be able to go out in all different conditions and all that. So a bit of a hard one to do. But then I thought, would it be beneficial to you guys to make some videos that are actually doing my sort of top five bits of kit for particular conditions or something along those lines? So drop in the comments, let me know if you think it'd be a good idea if I made some more sort of specialized videos on kit. Because currently I go out on my adventures and I show all the kit that I use whilst I'm out there, which I feel is a bit more trustworthy rather than me just sort of waffling on about something that I've never used while I'm back at home I prefer sort of showing it whilst it's out in situ doing what it's meant to do anyway let me know about that one right on with the next pie which is a steak pie let's have a look at that 
that doesn't look too shabby does it and i'm going to also open my second and final beer look at that big chunk of steak i'm not sure a cold steak pie though is as good as a cold pork pie that hot would be just fantastic anyway on with the next beer the final one for the evening do you know what it's actually really nice having a taste of beer every so often and i really do not drink much i probably have an average of one drink a week not even that probably one every two weeks because i'll go a couple of months at a time without having any alcohol and i think one of the reasons is is the fact that i exercise quite a lot and by exercising it just almost makes you not want to put any crap in your body so yeah every so often you know i might have a beer and a pie but as long as i'm not doing it every day i'm going to sort of feel good because of that so i'd always advise to exercise because it does almost put everything else in tune so you're going to sort of look after your body a little bit more as well and this is why i say get outside because that's doing something positive for your mind and body rather than being stimulated by a television and a beer sat at home which is definitely negative for you especially if you're doing it on multi days a week which is just not a good habit to have so get some exercise done break the habit and i guarantee you're gonna feel better and then just really appreciate it when you do have it anyway i want to get back to this lovely pie Mm. winter is coming and this year i think because of the el nino we're going to have quite a harsh winter we're going to have some very cold temperatures and hopefully loads of snow it's just always my most favorite time of year for camping and i think i like it because it's a good sort of test of yourself it's a good test of your kit and also when you're on top of a mountain you know that you've got that mountain to yourself because literally no one else goes out it's just the most fantastic time to go but there are quite a lot of dangers with that as well so that's just something to consider i'll definitely be carrying my zodio with me all the time which is a satellite canoe a satellite canoe <laughs> which is a satellite communicator so it's got an sos button on that which will just uh alert the local authorities so at least i've got some sort of help coming if i need but also i can keep in touch with people just by texting them or whatever so it's definitely a good one to have and i'm gonna for definite test some of this kit out this ph designs gear is gonna get a right blast in this year from me i'm gonna make sure that this does exactly what it needs to do and things like this as well i've got this light toe sleeping pad which is a sort of a budget friendly winter sleeping pad but i've never tested it properly only down to about freezing so it's going to be nice to take that out in some colder conditions and see how it fares i've already had a good start to winter going out with a couple of my patreon andy and Sai, and we had a very cold winter camp on the summit of great end it was honestly bitter nice to get out though and nice to just sort of have that sort of first taste of it because now i'm ready i feel like i just want to get out there and get into some of those harsher conditions so honestly looking forward to it every so often i'll go do a park run just to sort of see where my fitness is at and i did a couple a few weeks back and i was just over 18 minutes which isn't too bad for an old boy like me my fastest at that park run is 16.57 and with a bit of training i think i'd definitely get back into the sort of low 17s but age is getting on me eh <laughs> it's not really an excuse though is it when you've got a dad like mine still doing a sub 25 minute park run at 83 what a legend if you lack motivation for exercise then i'd always advise going and doing the park run it's just a great way of getting out of bed on a Saturday morning and doing that exercise session for the week. And then hopefully it'll inspire you to do a little bit more midweek as well. And then in no time at all, you'll be fit as a butcher's dog. And the fact that it's timed just means that you've always got 
a level to work to. You've always got a personal best to try beat and it just means that you'll push yourself hopefully to try increase those fitness levels and elongate your life. And you know what? It's not even about elongating your life so much. I think it's more about elongating the time that you've got with a good fit body to go out and do all these adventures. So yeah, go do the park run. That's what I would say. And try get some more exercise in elsewhere as well. Anyway, I've been exercising my mouth a little bit too much, I think, tonight by all of this tent talk and preaching of exercise and also chewing on steak. So I do apologise if you feel like I've been preaching, but hopefully it will help just a few people out there to just get out and do a little bit more for themselves and feel better because of it. So that will make me a happy man. Anyway, I'm going to get myself ready for bed, lay this log, and we'll see you in the morning. Take care. Morning, flowers. By a slept well. I was like a cat by a radiator all night. Apart from I did work with a cold nose at one point and that's just because I'm breathing through my nose and the air is very cold and usually I'll put like a woolly hat on and then pull the brim of the hat down over my eyes and then over the top of my nose and that generally works okay but I didn't wear a hat last night so it made me think I wouldn't mind sort of designing some sort of headband or insulated nose band just to sort of help myself with that and just sort of cover my nose up and allow me to sleep better in very cold conditions anyway it is just a thought so i'll see what i come up with for that i've not seen today yet it's a new day to me so i'm excited to get out and have a look so without further ado let's be getting out there eh Why, it's a grand day, wrapped here in autumn by all this dead bracken. We've also got up here the sun striking all those lovely crimson colours of the trees. Not bad at all. It was also pretty cold because we have got some ground frost still. So we're definitely down to freezing in the night. Anyway, I'm going to get myself packed up, tent away. There's only one spoiler that I did find, and that's this. So I'm going to gather that up and make sure we take that back because we don't want to ruin this, do we? It's beautiful. So, let's get on. There we go, now left but a bit of flattened grass 
there are better ways of flattening grass in life but we won't go into that leave no trace as always and if you can just do your little bit for helping out this lovely beautiful world that we live in anyway thanks for joining me for my little bit of positive escapism it has been splendid i feel like a new man now and i'm ready to take on the world so i'm going to get back do a bit of recycling and i'm also going to take the dog for a really nice long trail run so this positive escapism continues anyway give the video a big fat thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one take care Thank you.